This is the Pythonic Accountant, and welcome back for the next video in the series of regular expression lessons. In this one, we're going to cover some really important and powerful elements in addition to the special characters is the concept of sets and repeats. So for a set, it's going to be a listing of characters inside a bracket that have the option of any one of those characters can match for a pattern. And you actually might have seen this in a previous video when I went to the documentation. Um, this is the documentation for the actual brackets, but if you go and look at the backslash D, this is the same thing right here, this pattern of bracket, zero to nine, close bracket. And that actually is a valid uh, regular expression pattern. So if you wanted to match numbers, you could see, let's see, import, re, and, digit re equals re.compile, 0 through 9. And now digit re is actually going to give you the same thing as if you did, uh, let's do the re.compile of backslash d. So we can show that by doing, uh, let's see, numbers equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and digit re dot search numbers and it matches the first number and if you did the same thing if you did re dot search backslash d numbers it's going to give you the same result because it's actually the exact same regular expression pattern uh, so that's pretty cool yeah, but let's say you didn't want the number one to be included. You could do non one re equals re.compile r slash, and let's say we don't care about zero either. We can do uh, two through nine, and that actually will give you the characters two through nine uh, inclusive. And then we'll do non one re dot search numbers, and that should then give you back the two. And there you go. The number two, first pattern back, so that's great. Um, so let's take a look at this repeats one. And by the way, sets is really useful in uh, more than just numbers. Let's say you have a person's uh, name that you want to try and capture, and there's multiple spellings of that name. Um, you could do, let's say, Bob has a bunch of different spellings. Bob re equals re.compile. And let's say it can be B, and then the uh, middle letter could be A or O, and then B. Then let's do Bob, re dot search, Bob. That should give us back Bob. But if we do Bob, re dot search, B, A, B, that should give us Bob also. So what that does is it says, I'm looking for three letters. The first one is B, the second one is either A or O, and the third one is B. And so there you have it, now you've got Bob. But let's say some people spell it B-A-W-B. -B. You never know, those crazy Bobs with a W. Let's go ahead and redefine this with a W here. And now I'm gonna say that this can be, uh, let's see, one or more repeat. And then I'm gonna show you another trick in a minute using the curly brackets. So now we wanna do Bob re.search. Let's just make sure it still works on Bob. And sure does. Now let's do Bob re.search, Bob with a W, B-A-W-B. -B. There you go, it worked. Uh, but the problem here is because it's just plus, uh, if you've got like a really weird name that has a bunch of A's, O's, and W's, it uh, should still capture that, which let's say we don't want that. So instead, uh, what we can do is we can say, I want this to eat be one or two repeats. So meaning I only want one or I want two, but I don't want more than that. So what you can do here is you can tell it, um, let's just say we want to just want two. So that's not going to work uh, for this Bob because 
it doesn't give us two. And oops, I need to take out that plus because I am not defining it that way. Um, and it's not going to work for this one because it's more than two, but it probably will find B A W B. So Bob re does search B A W B uh, because it is exactly two characters. But let's say you want to find. I think you can do one comma two, and let's see if that works. And there you go. It found uh, Bob with the one uh, of the character, no repeats, and then it should still find with the two. And there you have it. It's a really cool, really powerful way to use some of the repeats. Um, I'll show you one other quick example before we end this video. So let's do phone number. Let's see, phone RE is going to be re.com. And you might start with digit, 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 digit. Digit, 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 and then phone re dot search. My number is one two three four five six one two three four, and that works great. But instead, it might be more efficient to just do this three and three dash, and then you just want four of these four. And that should give you the same results. And there you have it. So that was another awesome, fun video and regular expressions. I hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you with the next one. Thank you.